What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh back with another video. On today's episode of r slash rare insults, we talk about everything from Macaulay Culkin to the CBS game show Survivor and taking out restraining orders on people, isn't that fun? Guys in college really be dating high schoolers like, bro, focus on your major, not your minor. I often dream about winning the Powerball and buying the licensing rights to friends just to edit out the laugh tracks, then releasing it back to the public for free so everyone can finally understand how unfucking funny that shitty show actually is. Hey guys, wanna feel old? I'm 40. You're welcome. Wait, were you not 40 like 10 years ago? To be honest, I had to Google to make sure that this dude was in fact 40 because I could have sworn he was. I don't know, a couple centuries older than that, uh, at the least. I mean, look at fucking Brad Pitt, 56 years old. Are you 16 years older than this dude? Meanwhile, fucking Macaulay over here looking like he's from Pirates of the Caribbean, not not like Johnny Depp. I mean, like one of the fucking skeletons, like, good lord. Name someone hotter than Justin Bieber. Well, probably anyone, to be honest. He looks like a roofer to disappear on payday after you give him his check. Ethan Smith, class of 2020. If idiots could fly, this place would be a f***ing airport. 4 foot 11, huh? Try again. Not the icebreaker you want to go with. Do better. We'll keep being a little bitch and I'm gonna come over and hide all your stuff on the top of the refrigerator. Damn. Which type of tattoo makes you cringe the most? Literally anyone that has two small tattoos and is constantly posting about how discriminated against people with tattoos are and how pathetic all the Karens of the world are for being offended by tattoos. Like, calm down Becky, no one has ever said anything actually rude to you about your 3 inch faith tattoo written in such swirly cursive that it could be a roller coaster over at My Whole Identity is Victimhood Island. The hardest I've ever been owned in my life was when I was 21 in Barnes & Noble and a teenager asked me where the manga- wait wait, manga? Manga? I really don't know and honestly I'll be corrected either way. Where the manga section was, I told them but also said, I don't work here. They looked me dead in the eye and said, I know, you just looked like someone who would know. This dude looks like the Ice Age baby grown up. I, I can't process this, holy sh- <sighs> that baby. How is it that Madame Tussauds wax model of Mark Zuckerberg looks way more like a real person than Mark Zuckerberg does? Oh my god. Maisie Williams looks like a very young grandma. Your mama's so ugly, the whole world faked the virus and ruined the economy just to make her wear a mask. Damn, bro. Got the whole squad laughing. You see these dudes here? They, uh, they look like the space inhabitants from Wally. -E. 29 little hacks that could save your life. <laughs> Hold up, is that a fucking Game Boy cartridge case? Wait, this is a legit life hack because keeping a condom in your wallet is bad news. The friction from it being in your pocket or jostled around wears down the latex and can cause it to tear. If you keep one on you in a Game Boy cart case, that won't be an issue because no one will have sex with you. Yorkshire, we have an important question. Christmas cake, with or without cheese? That doesn't even look like cake. Why do British people still eat like they're in the 1800s and don't have electricity? Hey, why do Americans eat like they do have free healthcare? Now because YouTube sees satire and criticism as the demonetizable discussion of harmful acts, this video will almost certainly contain no ads. Fortunately, the video is sponsored by my Discord server, a community of 7,000 users brought together by Reddit posts just hanging out. Join today to get access to killer emojis like way too many of my staff members' pets, inside jokes from two years ago, and a teeny tiny Baja Blast. Link is at the top of the description, and if you don't click it, your mom's a hoe. The caption was, waited outside her hotel for 46 straight hours for this opportunity. Worth it. <laughs> I bet his forehead can be scanned at a grocery store. Bad haircut aside, this is quite possibly the most uncomfortable picture I have ever seen in my entire life, which makes me much more relieved to be able to tell you guys that she did get a restraining order taken out on this guy because he'd like follow her to restaurants and take pictures of her. That's super creepy. Thank God for legal protections. Today I learned of kangaroo words, that is a word that contains a synonym inside it, i.e. 
masculine with male, blossom with bloom, chicken with hen, or honorable with noble. <laughs> nice. There's catfishing and then there's whatever the hell this is. Oh, come on, come on. Don't do Jenna marbles like that. Good lord, have some respect. And what a weird way to announce to the world that you've never had a girl sleep over. Where am I going to find a six foot dildo? Well, you're in luck. I report to one of those at work. Sick burn. Very rare joke. You love to see it. What the hell is the context for this? How do we get to the first message in the first place? Facial hair gone. For now. Let the jokes fly. Yeah, you look like the black student they put on university brochures to show diversity. Or in the case of Turk from Scrubs, they photoshopped him and put him in twice. Only 6% of the 153,504 reported deaths were directly due to COVID, but 100% of the people who wore masks without question are sheep. Look, I have type 1 diabetes. I am healthy enough to run ultra marathons. If I get attacked by a bear and the ICU has trouble managing my blood sugar while caring for my bear attack wounds and I die, the bear is the cause of my death. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. I am fucking alarmed at the number of likes that original tweet has. Fucking alarmed. Why should we care? I hope your wife gives birth to a centipede and you have to spend the rest of your days slaving away to buy shoes for it. TikTok looks exactly like a fake social media app the main character of a Disney Channel original movie would get cyberbullied on. As a teenager, a dude made a comment about shooting his cum- Oh god. A dude made a comment about shooting his cum 40 feet. A nerdy kid sat down, did a bunch of math, and explained the velocity it'd have to reach to get that kind of distance would kill the sperm from air resistance. So effectively, he was infertile. It was pretty f***ing funny at the time just because this dude had sat there to the side of this back and forth, then jumped in with a sheet of math and a fertility burn. Now I was going to do some quick calculations to back this story up, but I only got as far as typing how does air resistance affect sperm before I realized I really didn't want to pursue that bit. Once in the fourth grade, this guy got a 2% on his math quiz, so everyone called him milk for the rest of the year. Okay, so let me get this straight. Two-inch murder hornets are big, but my two inches are small? Yeah. Okay, look, one stings with pain and the other with disappointment. Belle Delphine sells out of gamer girl condoms thanks to horny men. But people quickly noted that Belle was probably targeting the entirely wrong audience for this product considering the sex life of most gamer boys. Belle Delphine has released the first ever 100% effective contraceptive, as no man wearing a gamer girl condom will ever have sex. All the pretty females love a drug dealer. Not me. Yeah, I know, I said pretty females. People who get diarrhea from Taco Bell are weak, and their bloodline is weak, and history will forget them. The spread of coronavirus is based on two factors. One, how dense the population is, and two, how dense the population is. Oh, you wrote the same thing twice. What's the other one? Yeah, you're, you're number two. It's you. A pig's orgasm lasts for 30 minutes. Whew, your wife is one lucky lady. Time for some fun facts about 2019's Joker. In Joker, Arthur suffers from a condition that causes him to laugh loudly and uncontrollably even when things are not funny. When he tries to do stand-up, he has difficulty finishing a joke due to laughing too hard. This is a reference to Jimmy Fallon, who the character is based on. You ever meet a man and get strong Reddit vibes from him? I once got roofied in an Applebee's and the food was still the worst thing that happened to me that night. Look, Corinne is a former Survivor player and certified internet savage. Here's an excerpt from an AMA she did on Reddit a few years back. There have been rumors over the years that Maddie was never going to win Gabon because he apparently inherited a ton of money from his grandparents and wasted it all and people weren't going to vote for him to win because they didn't want that happening again. Is there any truth to this? Well, Maddie did have a large inheritance which we knew about but he squandered it on drugs, so technically he was actually broke. If he was sitting next to Susie or Sugar, we would have given it to him because I would rather it go to drugs. Later in the same AMA, just cementing her hate for the character that some of you may know as Sugar, someone says, is there anyone that could be cast in a season that would make you not want to go back? And she said, 
I would never play with sugar. I would rather have a live camera abortion. The skin on the palm of your hand does not have the ability to grow hair. What part of your body do you wish had this type of skin? Between my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm guessing that S isn't needed, huh? You look like a magician whose only trick is turning Bud Light into domestic violence. <laughs>